Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Welcome to my Black Magic Woman Santana Electric Riffs tutorial. We're going to take this nice and slow so that more folks can learn to play these riffs. We're not only going to try to just learn the riffs, but we're going to see if we can inject the same kind of feeling that Carlos does when he plays them. So let's get going. The guitar is tuned standard E, A, D, G, B, E. For my guitar setup, I'm using my Epiphone SG and I'm using the neck pickup. I'm using a heavy pick. I'm not using any pedals. I'm plugged into my Fender Princeton Chorus amplifier and I'm using the overdrive channel. I've also got a little bit of reverb on it. This is the sound we're getting. Here's our first riff. Here's what those riffs will sound like. To get started, we're going to go to fret 6, put the index finger on it, and then we're going to go to fret 8, and pull off of it like this. That was real simple. Next we'll go to fret 3 and we'll play three notes like this. We'll strike the string once. Like that. So we struck the string, slid up to fret 5 and slid back. Here we go. We'll go back up to fret 6 and do this. For that one, we struck fret 6, hammered on to fret 8, and pulled off of it like this. One more time. Then we'll go back to fret 3, slide up to fret 5, and back like this. And that completes our first set of riffs. One more time. For the next set of riffs, we're going to go up to fret 10 and play this. For that 
that part, we went to fret 10 on the B string, fret 8, and then we're going to go to fret 10 on the G string and start at 10 and slide down to fret 9 like this. Strike it once, just like that. Again, so here's that riff. We're going to follow that by going to fret 8 on the B string, fret 10, and that's on the G string, and then we're going to slide from fret 9 to fret 7 on the G string, like this. So for the entire thing, we'll go back and do that again. And this last time, and we're going to stop on fret 9. And then we'll follow that with a D minor 7 chord like this. We're barring fret 10, bring in the ring finger to fret 12 on the A string and do this. We'll play it like this. We simply swept that chord one note at a time. For the next riff, we'll play this. For that riff, we're going to go to fret 10 on the high E string, and then to fret 13 on the B string. And then we're going to bend up fret 13, come back down and pull off to fret 10 on the B string. So it's and then we're going to go up again to fret 13 and it's come down like that. Next we'll do this. So we're going to go to the B string, fret 13, and bend it up a whole step. And then land on fret 10 on the high E string. So it's... Go back to fret 13 on the B string. Fret 10. And then to the G string, fret 12. Then we're going to strike that string again and bend it up and let it down and then go to fret 10 on the G string and slide down to fret 9 like that so it's so it's For our next riff, we're going to play this. So what we did there is we started at fret 10 on the B string, fret 13 on the B string, and then we're going to go to fret 12 and hammer from 12 to 13. Go back to 12, and then we'll go to 13 and do this. Okay, so what we did there is we're going to pull off from 13 to 12 down to 10, so it's like that. Then we'll go to fret 13, bend it up, 
bring it down, and then pull off to fret 10 on the B string, like this. So that's... Our next riff will sound like this. For that one, we'll go to 13 again, bend it up, land on 10 on the high E string, go back to 13 on the B string, fret 10 on the B string, and then go to fret 12 on the G string, bend it up, and bring it back down. And then pull off the 10 on the G string, like that. So that's for our next riff, we'll do this. We're simply going to go to a minor chord shape here at fret 10, 11, and 12 on the high E. B string and G string and sweep it like this. Then we'll go to fret 12 on the high E, fret 13, and slide up to 14, like that. Next we'll do this. For that one, we're going to go to fret 15 and bend it up and let it down. Then go to fret 13, back to 15 on the B string, and then 13 on the high E. Now you may notice that sometimes I'm using two fingers to do my bends. That's because it's easier to bend with two fingers than one. What I'll do is play with the ring finger and support it with the middle finger and go up. And I can hold that note longer. Let it down. Next, we're going to go up to fret 19 and we're going to play this. And slide it down like that. After that, we're going to do this. For that one, we're going to go to the high E string at fret 10. Then we'll go to fret 12 on the G string bend it up and down, go to fret 10 on the G string, back to fret 12, bend it up again, let it down, and then we're going to hammer from 10 to 12, and then we went to 12 on the D string, 10 on the D string, Back to 12, 10, and then go to 12 on the A string and walk it down to 10, and then to 8, and then a D minor chord like this, just barring that. So that's...
And I think there are enough riffs to keep you busy for a while. That's riffs from Black Magic Woman by Santana on electric guitar. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. <laughs>